Hello guys, this is just a quick video to show you the treasures I got in the mail. I received them a couple days ago, but I have been pretty sick with a headache. Um, so, after a 22 hour nap, give or take a few minutes. <laughs> um, I lost an entire day, but I had to come down to the art room. I have to start working on a, uh, I'm going to do a resin piece for the raffle that's going to happen at the baby shower on the 20th. So I'm going to make a I think I'm going to make a um, freeform resin geode uh, clock, if it turns out okay, if my plan, if I don't get laid up again for another 20 hours. Anyway, I don't know if anybody else suffers from migraines, but they can uh, really kick the crap right out of you. So anyway. Um, this is m more magical stuff, um, from Color Art. Leslie was kind enough to send me, um, some colors that I've been wanting to try. Plus, she threw in the brand new colors. Um, it's called Firefly 12 piece starter kit and they come like this and they are fantastic. I'm looking at them and they, uh, this one comes with pink anthurium, desert clay, sea glass, Black Orchid, which I am assuming is this one here. Uh, actually, let's not assume, right? Where's an opening? These are the primary elements. This is the dry acrylic paint system. You've seen me play with them on my channel. Um, make sure these lids are on. Pink Anthurium. Looks like a plum, but it's got some highlights. Uh, black Orchid. This looks yummy. I don't know how close I can get. Let's get these undone and then I'll see how close I can get. I always say it's going to be a quick video on my colors, but then I get so excited about them. This one looks like one of them might have opened up. Let me take care of that first. Nope. I just done it a filling. It didn't open up. Wow. These are 
so pretty and I think I already found my favorite. Although you can't really have a favorite because every time you think you have a favorite, then you see another one <laughs> and it becomes your favorite. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. So these are the 12 new colors that have not been on her website. And then I think like each month or periodically, I can't remember what she said, but she's going to release 10, I'm sorry, 12 brand new colors again. So each one will um, Let me see if I can get close here. All right. So these are, ignore my nails, I need to get them done. This one is Northern Lights, you see that? It's got like, it's very prisma, prisma-y. <laughs> is that a word? It is now. Caribbean mist. Those are in the blues. Here's another in the blue. Azurite. See how it kind of shifts? Color shifting. Okay. Here's some in the red tones. Pink. Anth anthurium. Pink anthurium. Kind of like a plum, but it's got a. Here, let's do it this way. It's got a violet pink type look to it. Ruby red. Whoops! Beautiful. Now I love my reds. This one is desert clay. I think um, Tammy used this on her channel, and I think it changed colors a bit from the bottle to the, once the polypores added. Desert clay. That looks pretty, huh? And then look at this. I'm excited about this one. Black orchid. See that? So pretty. This one I'm thinking might be a favorite of mine. Sweet Thistle. So pretty, so pretty. And we got a lovely daffodil. I'm not a yellow person, but every yellow I've used from um, color art or primary elements has been really, really nice. This is Douglas fir. And then we have some greens here. Sea glass. It's very sea glassy, huh? It's a perfect name for that one. Oops, focus. Midori Melon. 
And what's good about these is they are, um, they're for acrylic pouring. So with them being in a powder form, you have no shelf life. So I shouldn't say no shelf life. That doesn't sound right, does it? You have unlimited shelf life. So you got those and then you mix them with the polypore. My last video I ran out, so this came just in time. Thank you, thank you. These are also primary elements, but they are in a, it's like a bigger jar. This one I'm super excited. This is her Payne's Gray. Excited to see how that looks. This one is Beach House Blue and Peacock Feather. They look very similar, but they are not. Look at, you can see the difference. Um, and then this Stargazer is gorgeous. Look at that. African Jade. Usually Jade is a green, so I'm assuming that when I put this in the polypore, it is going to have a green tone to it. So some of these will change colors once they're in. Coral Berry. That is beautiful. Look at these. You know that I like that. I'm stuck on that spiced pumpkin, but I bet these are going to be a lot like it and beautiful. I have Carmen here. Hot Cinnamon. This is going to turn like a reddish, if I remember correctly, on the... Um, the website and then ginger peach look at that I bet that's gonna be fantastic so those are my primary elements and then I have one of the diamond galaxy colors that I didn't have before wild coral which is going to be fantastic. I just know it. You can't have a name like Diamond Galaxy and it not be fantastic, right? Are you ready? Do-do, do-do, do-do. What in the world? Look at that. Huge flakes of mica. And they have a wetting agent in them, so they just melt right into the resin like hot butter. And then I have some tints. I only had two of her tints before and it was the Viola and the Bahama Blue. Bahama Mama, I think. Now these are the transparents. So we got Hot Lips. These will be turmeric. Um, these will be, um, transparent colors. Clear cobalt blue.
when you're working with the tints, um, you want to put like a little bit in a cup, just a tiny bit in a cup, and then like in a little cup like this, and then add some 91 or 99% isopropyl alcohol, just like a couple drops, kind of mix it in. So it's kind of like a ink type thing. And then put that into your resin. That way it breaks up and then you don't end up, because it's transparent and it doesn't have um, um, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's transparent so you want to make sure that it's mixed up real good like in the alcohol will help break it down and then add it to your resin and then you won't have um you know like those little specks of tint that's not been broken down red raspberry tint that looks yummy yeah so these are the tints and like i said i had the other two tints the bahama mama and the um viola which is i'll show you more i have you well i have the cap captured audience so i love both of these so this is the bahama mama which is perfect ocean water tint perfect it's not going to get any better than this guys and viola which is a purple see that you probably can't see it let me get over there see that got that blue purple tint to it so pretty but yeah this Bahama Mama it's an ocean tint it doesn't get any better than this if you're looking to tint your clear for an ocean piece this is a must-have I'm curious about this one, so I'm sure I'll be doing it, because I bet these two, actually I bet these three in an ocean pour would be beautiful. <laughs> all these goodies, all these goodies, all these ideas. So, there you have it guys. Um, So yeah, if you are interested in any of color art products, this is like for resin here. She has a uh, uh, resin art. Um, this is the acrylics mixed with polypore, which is a, makes a perfect pouring consistency. If you're going to do like a Dutch pour or whatever with them, you'll have to add maybe just couple drops of water but yeah she's got stuff for resin she's got tints she's got uh, enamels she has watercolors um, the primary elements the regular luster resin arts the blingets the micas she has the everything okay so if um, you're interested in any of this stuff, go visit her website at colorart.com. Which it should be on one of these bottles. Yep. Right here. And it will also be in the description. Colorart.com. And you can... Um, oh, another big thing is all of her products are green. 
environmentally friendly. So, and made in the USA. So, back to ordering. Colorart.com. And if you use um, my code, my best medicine 819 all lowercase you get 25% off your entire order that information will also be below okay guys so i am going to get started on my resin product probably a little project most likely be using some of these tints so stay tuned and i will see you guys on the next video thanks